What's going on you feisty mofos, John GTFO here and welcome back to my Everton playthrough boys and girls. Whew, it is season four, we have finally started off the season, I've actually played a game because I completely forgot how to record, but uh, nevertheless we are here now. So, it has been a big season for transfers, I'll tell you that boys, I was given a sizable amount of money to spend and I've certainly spent some of it anyway. Let's go and have a little look, shall we, because I know that's all you're interested in. Right, so our first signing was Rick Cock from Feyenoord. It is a young player, 3.1 million he cost us, and I loaned him out to St Etienne. Second one was Milan Pjanic. Pjanic? 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 Oh, pardon me. I bought him for about 6 million. He's basically cover for the team because I realised that my squad just wasn't deep enough last time. Mattia Yendris. 17-year-old uh, centre-back from Croatia. You'll notice a lot of Croatian players coming through. We've got very good scouts for Croatia. And I also know that the only real good teams, there's two good teams in Croatia, and if you just look at their pre the um, people they sign in on the youth intake, there's normally at least one good one. And this was their good one this year, 93 as well. I needed a tall one because I actually got Martin Novak, who got a lot of you will remember. He's actually done out to be really, really good signing. and He's only, a, he's only like 5 feet 11 or something. But, you know, I spent about a mil on him, I think, so that was pretty decent. Gabriel Barbosa. Oh, I needed to go out and spend big on a striker, and I decided to do it on Gabriel. He is 19, has absolutely amazing stats. Last year, he was at Ajax, where he got 13 goals, but we actually it was 20 goals he actually scored that season. And he moved. he's earned his £11 million move to... Goodison Park. I actually had to pay nine million as well for uh, what was it? Nine million for nine million, nine million for agent. There you go. I had to pay an agent nine million for forty percent. There was on Rafinha. Like I said, just a cover player. Actually, he's from Barcelona. He was on a free. He actually tore his cruciate, and Barcelona just couldn't play him anymore. So they sent him over to me. Simone Benedetti from Motherwell. I think I bought him for actually, or Aberdeen even. I brought him from. He is basically cover for my centre backs because uh, most of my centre backs are quite young if they're promising, and Phil Jagielka's on his way out, so I just wanted to make sure I had enough cover in place. Then Lucas Fabianski, I brought in Lucas because uh, Tim Howard has retired now, and I didn't really need him. But Lucas isn't fantastic, but he's a decent enough cover. And then Thomas Martinez managed to pick up for a lovely. How much was it? 6.25 and it rounded it up to 7 for the agent's fee and he is looking fantastic already worth 14 million I spotted him before in a playthrough with Cardiff and I actually bought him as an 18 year old and he didn't do very well for me he just didn't give him the game time but gave him the game time this year and he's uh, he's grown he's grown quite a lot and I've managed to spend 31 million and I actually got given 40 so with agent's fees that are probably owe to about 40 just for those guys but there has been some movement on the selling point Mattia Vidra has been sold to Schalke. I decided that Vidra wasn't really in my plans. He was really a cover and a bad cover at that. I didn't really play him. Jindrik Stranik sold him. I don't really know why he was in the team. He's not very good. But there's also this bad boy right here. Juan Fernando Quintero moves to Paris Saint-Germain for 35 million. He was at Everton for two seasons, putting in two decent seasons. He did okay for us. He was he wasn't outstanding, but he was good, and he you knew he was going to develop. But he was not happy the fact that let me just move my laptop closer to me. He wasn't happy the fact that I rejected a bid from Bar, uh, from Real Madrid. Real Madrid bid thirty bid eighteen at the start, and then I said push up to thirty five and I'll accept. And they bid thirty two point five and wouldn't budge on that for some reason. But I just wasn't accepting. That was too low for my liking. And then oh, I just decided that. If someone gave me 35, I'd have to sell him because he wanted to leave. And uh, Paris Saint-Germain came in with 35 million and I had to let him go. So it's fair enough. And then a lot of a lot of players on loan. Guido Vidal actually pissed me off earlier because I bought in uh, Martinez and Guido was not happy about that. Or well, Guido. I'm not calling him Guido. It's more fun. He was not happy about that at all. But uh, who else we loaned out? Sasha Torbic. 
is actually turning out to be rather incredible. Scored for Croatia is now the youngest European Championship goal scorer. He's doing very well for himself. He was on loan at someone else last season, done really well for himself. Martin Novak, a lot of you guys just talked about him. He is absolutely bloody tiny. He did actually grow a centimetre though, if that's any consolation, but he is he is very good. He is very good. He's ju he just needs to he needs to be a bit taller, but you know, he's not exactly gonna be able to grow. Rick Cock, we already looked at him. Let go of Gareth Barry and Stephen Naismith. Gareth Barry has served the team well, but he was getting a bit on now. And uh, I'll show the table. For some reason, I played a game a week ahead of everyone else. And I beat Aston Villa. <laughs> um, just three, I think it was 4 3, actually. Let me have a quick look at that fixture. Might as well. We'll go over the friendlies as well. I had, a test I had Rooney's testimonial. Now, I'm not quite sure why I have Rooney's testimonial. I'm assuming he's retiring at the end of the season. He's only 30. I'm not sure why he's going. But we had Rooney's testimonial against Man United, which I lost 1 0. Probably should have won that game, but whatever. Beat Watford, whoever that is, and spot of Slatavia, Prague, whatever they are. Managed to beat away from home Aston Villa. And a lot of you know, like I've said, my Aston Villa is my bogey team. And it was a, it was a tough game. They actually scored two goals very late, or three goals second half. That was a bullshit one where I slide, tackled, and Cissé went through. This one was pretty poor defending. This one was just Andy Wyman being a poacher that he is. But we managed to get that many and uh, did pretty well for ourselves. So we're actually going to holiday now. Well, I'm not going to holiday, but I'm going to skip ahead to the Norwich game and that's going to be the live com for today right guys we are back here on the tactics screen so this team I'm going to be going with I promised Carlos Fierro more football and with Gabriel Barbosa coming back from the Olympic Games where he came second best player at the tournament oh that was a bit of a that was a bit of a a bit sicky but that wasn't very nice so we're going to go with Fierro up front with Rubio I'm going to give him a start on the left wing Martinez did really well for us in the last game and Barkley on the right Kondogbia and Pjanic gets his first start for the club Baines, Alvarez, Belenta and Kulu, Coleman and Ter Stengen probably our main back partnership well, actually I'll tell you what I'm going to throw on Jonathan Silva for this game just because he hasn't had any game time yet this season Sam Beretti's injured Rafinha's a bit unhappy with We've got too many people in his position, but like I said, he is just back up to the squad now, and so is Aidan McGee. Dear. I don't know really. I'll try to set him a while ago, but I've, I think I'll let him go this season. If his contract, when does his contract run out? It's a fair point. Uh, he's got another year left. I don't have to let him go at the end of the season. See if I can get about a million for him. I should be all right. Okay then. I think this is going to be good. So let's submit the team. Playing the wide formation. I just thought a situation like this is probably going to go down the best against a. Normally, sorry about that. Normally conservative. Oh, we've got Tate Iwo. Wow, he must be getting on now. Yeah. Normally conservative Norwich team. Hmm. They've still got the bash to. And of course, we did lose to Norwich last time we played. I'm going to clear those. Pick up where you left off, boys. You've got what it takes. You've got what it takes. You've got what it takes. That always seems to do pretty well in the in the start of a game. But we shall see how the boys do against Norwich. <laughs> I'm bringing you Norwich again for a live com. I didn't even realise I was going to do that. I completely forgot it was the last live com I recorded. But I'm going to tell you what, I'm actually going to put on work ball into box just to see if that can help us out a little bit. Oh, it hasn't even come on yet. Pjanic, Kondogbia. Oh, it's a lovely ball to come on. Come spots Martinez. He's going to shoot. Martinez, oh, very close. Silver on the ball here. Pjanic, oh, he tries to shot. Probably should have looked for a pass there instead. Ah, never mind. Pjanic is already almost injured. <laughs> Oh, good thing I've got Ryan Lee-Edson on, uh, on the old Benchy. Benchy poo. Right, Kondogbia, Silva. Here we go, Martinez. This is nice. Rubio, can he spot? And he runs. That's a lovely ball. Barkley. Barkley. Oh, that's beautiful. Ross Barkley is an absolute monster on this game now. He is an absolute monster. He's one of England's best players, to be quite honest with you, at this point in the game. And it is completely deserved. He plays out of his bloody skin a lot of the games we play in. Um, I'm just watching Pjanic's fitness level, to be honest. I don't really want to let him take him off yet, just because it's so early on in the game. I think half-time I'll probably bring him off if he's still looking a bit shaky. Barkley! Oh, almost two. He knows what he's doing, that boy. On the right. Pjanic, nice ball in. Can we connect? No, looks like we're going to get another corner. Pjanic again on this one. Alvarez Belanta on the front post here we're looking for. Belanta! Oh, it goes all the way through to Ruddy. Poorly delivered by Pjanic, apparently. Is it highlight going to continue? Out with a Seamus Coleman. Oh, that's a lovely first touch. Ross Barkley. Ross Barkley! 2-0. Ross Barkley. What a fucking god you are, son. Oh, dear. 
the boys are masterclass in just about everything for the team. Rubio and Pjanic is still going down. Right, Pjanic will come off at half time. Then bring on Lietzen. Where's Liet? Lietzen? It's Lietzen, isn't it? I don't know why I'm calling him Lietzen. It's because that sodden Portuguese strike. I was on a conversation with my friend about him. Wasn't the worst half I've ever seen, but there's room for improvement, boys. We're going to go passionate. There's a lot to come for you or not. You've got what it takes. Passionate, there's a lot to come for you. And passionate, there is a lot to come from you. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see what happens here. Norwich might come all out, out all guns blazing here. Olsen probably going to bring it down left. Oh, he's gone inside. I was not expecting that. It's a lovely ball, but it looks like it picked up by Rubio, who hasn't challenged for the header there. That was a bit silly. Shelby, bash two. Shelby again. Can he skin Silva? He skinned him. Bash two. Oh, it's a great save, but Olsen's there again. It always happens with Norwich. Always, always happens. Right, I'm going to have to switch it to the away test. Got more possession based. I need to stop giving away possession so easily. And this is just like retain possession tactic. This is this is going to be slightly better in a situation like this. Uh, Rubio has taken a knock. All right, we'll just bring on Sherla. <laughs> That's lovely to be able to say. I'll just bring on Sherla. I don't know why he's doing the long throws. I'll put it on short. But just because he's Jonathan Silver and never listens to me, he just does what he wants. Oh, that was a poor ball from them. Martinez, Ledson, Coleman. Can he get it out to Ross Barkley? No, back to Martinez. Playing in triangles again. Norwich are playing very well to counteract us here, though. Looks like Carlos Fierro trying to... Surely a foul. Surely a foul. No way. Ross Barkley hat trick. Surely a foul. Watch this. Oh, that's a foul. That's such a foul. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, whatever. <laughs> take it. I'll take it. Put more balls into the box. I'm not a massive crossing team, I have noticed. Jonathan Silva, he needs to be careful. I don't want him to keep fucking up. Shala. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Fier. Yeah. What? Hold the phone. All right, let's quickly switch it to a camera. Zoomed in vertical scrolling. What we got here? What else we got? Uh, actually, this will, this will do, actually. Oh, what have I done here? Clicked on one of the adverts by accident. All right. All right, let's... let's okay. Right, Carlos Fierro wants more game time. Does he fuck? Does he fuck? Not playing again. For a while now. That was ridiculous. Let's put it back on key, shall we? That's actually quite a nice little... Uh, Morrison, oh my god. We cannot defend this year. We really, really cannot defend. I don't know what to say. Director. We have been absolutely awful at defending. We conceded three against Aston Villa. I mean, look at this. How have they even got time to try and fucking shoot? Silva, long ball in, fucks it up. What's going to do here? Can Dogbia actually wins the ball? Well played. Silva in, Martinez... Barkley for the fourth. Oh, Barkley almost getting his fourth at a game there. Oh, hmm. There's definitely some work to be done with the tactics. We're just too shaky at the back. I don't know whether that's my defenders. I don't know whether that's don't have enough men back. I'm assuming it's don't have enough men back. Oh, Belanta scores a fourth. There we go. Seal the deal. Alvarez Belanta, two goals this season already. One of the league's top scorers, surely. It's this near post. This near post corner for Balanta works out very nicely a lot of the time. All right, guys. That was it. Apologies for cutting out there for a second. So at the end of the game, we've managed to win. It not as comfortably as I would have liked, but again, yet again, I would have liked to beat him last season and won the title. But at the end of the day, 4-2. Probably reflects the way the result should have been. They nicked pre two very easy goals, and I'm going to have to see if I can sort that in the tactics. But Ross Barkley, man of the match. Martinez getting two assists as well. <clears throat> Looks like he's got a strong career ahead of him. We dominated the game. It was really just a four-blank conclusion. Let's have a quick look at any messages we got. As you can see from that table, we are third. Lovely. Ross Barkley getting a hat-trick. Big lad. 
any updates on Silo? His current ability goes down and up each time. It's very strange. Uh, anything else really, really relevant for anyone? Fitness concern? Average balance is always getting the fitness concerns. Anyway, guys, I'm going to lend it off here. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I appreciate it, and I will talk to you guys later. But if you did enjoy the video, please give a like button. Please click that like button. Subscribe to Penis Growth. And that's been the guys. Who doesn't like good bit Penis Growth? Because eh? I certainly do, boys. I certainly do. And uh, go out and enjoy the rest of your day. All right, lads. Talk to you later.